Oh, what's up, everybody? Mr. Nation Wine here. Yeah, I know it's been a while since I've uh, done any filming, and I've meant to do some filming of, you know, Caribou video, but it didn't work out as planned, though, because, uh, well, I'm back dating again, but uh, it turns out the date I had just, you know, couldn't film a video, right? But that's not the only reason why I'm going to stop seeing her. Uh, I just felt like that meeting her not compatible. Yeah, and then plus, well, she came from Long Island, and don't know too much about what's going on in this state and I've been living in this state for 14 years coming from Pennsylvania and so I kind of got adjusted to the southern life and everything and as for her she's still stuck in that northern life I'm like come on you're in a different state now and then plus uh, she happened to be Catholic I'm not a Catholic I'm a Christian but I would not date a Catholic my mom was a Catholic growing up but as she grew older, I think around the time she met my dad, she uh, r renounced the, the religion. Yeah, she, so she was no longer a Catholic when I was born, and then uh, decided to go church somewhere else. And so anyway, there was like different stuff I've been hearing, especially my mom was telling me over the years about the Catholics. And I, my day, a few Catholic girls in the past, but it just never worked out. It's just that that. They're mocking Christianity, so they're not really following Jesus, and they're doing a lot of sins that a lot of they ain't supposed to do, like worshiping idols, they're not supposed to do that. Praying to statues, like, they're not supposed to do that. They always do that to the Virgin Mary and the Virgin of oh, Lupe, and like, you're not supposed to do that. And then, especially marrying a Catholic person, while well, the priest had to approve the marriage, like, well, what's the priest have to know about marriage if they're not allowed to get married? Which I thought that was weird. And plus there's child monsters and pedophiles in there. So, why am I going to get mixed up in that church that does that kind of stuff? And then they say they don't believe in birth control. And they're like, well, that's fucked up. So, if you have to have sex with someone who's a Catholic, but then, then use birth control, and maybe you're not allowed to use a condom, I guess. And then there's a unplanned pregnancy. Oh well, yeah, there's some single mothers out there that have been married who are Catholic. So that kind of explains it. Yeah, especially like in North Carolina, I thought maybe you won't meet as many as you do like up north or the Midwest. But they're all coming here, I don't know why. So that's why I don't date that many girls from up north. And then, uh, well, especially there's a lot of Spanks who are Catholic. Yeah, especially I'm, well, 50% Spanish, but the thing is because, uh, you know, our ancestors come from Spain, they're Catholics, but uh, if you look back centuries ago, like around the 1600s in Spain, uh, they were part of the Spanish Inquisition, so it's mostly cardinals. Well, they were in the red gown and caps, and they were forcing everybody to convert into uh, Catholicism. So if someone uh, refused, then they get tortured. And it, it's horrible, you know, they, they use a mace and then pour hot oil on you and kill you and everything. So, that's why in that episode in Money Python's Flying Circus, uh, they, well, it's during Englishmen, they're making fun of the Spanish Inquisition, you know, screaming out that nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition and, you know, all the torture and stuff, they're making fun of them. So, basically, they got an old lady, they just put her in an armchair, they call it the comfy chair, and then, you know, kind of tapped her with a couple of pillows, which I thought was very funny, because, you know, they're making fun of the Spanish Inquisition. And then, uh, yeah, especially they had more of that stuff in Puerto Rico. That was back when they were part of the Spanish Empire. And so, yeah, when it comes to dating Spanish girls, you got to find one who isn't Catholic. One who's Christian anyway, you're, you're lucky. If you don't, oh, man, they're, they're even worse at following it. Yeah, especially, you know, collecting how many porcelain statues and pictures of the version of all Lupe and everything. And then, uh, what weird thing is, like, oh, especially when you marry them, well, it had to be at a Catholic church. And plus, you had to confirm, like, no, I'm not doing that. That'd be stupid. Yeah, I, I don't know what my mom will say about that, but she, I mean, she won't be happy about that. Yeah. And so, anyway, I'm just going to dump this girl anyway because not the right person for me.
Yeah, and then uh, other things have been going on. Well, it's finally warming up for spring, so uh, later on today, it's going to be like around 72 degrees. Well, it's like around 60 degrees, so I, I just had to hoodie on, but I just, I probably just have it off on the way home. Yep. And then, uh, other stuff was going on. Let's see. Oh, anyway, get back to that girl I was dating. Well, she said something she didn't like cops. And because, well, a lot of people were getting, you know, killed and hurt by them, but it, it was for a reason because, uh, you know, just people resisting arrest and, Think they they couldn't take any orders from a cop, and then uh, they think they think they think they can do whatever they want, like they're above the law. And then uh, this is what he got. They got hurt anyway for a reason. Yeah, but I never got in trouble with the police before, so you will never see me getting arrested or shot by a cop. You know, it's because I was making the wrong decision. I'm not stupid. So it was kind of hard to argue with that with that girl. I didn't want to spend the whole night arguing on, during a date. Yeah, plus the other, plus that night in karaoke, like she couldn't film that video of me singing, so I might have to do that over again. This is with uh, my best cameraman on the job, so we probably had to wait another week. And oh yeah, so anyway, when we're having dinner on Friday night, well that's why I found out she was Catholic because uh, they're not allowed to eat meat on Friday nights which I thought that was weird well which I thought was weird like a lot like I hear a lot of them using profanity but other churches don't even use profanity because you know it was against the rules but I don't know what makes these people think they're so special they they don't have to follow the same rules that every other church <laughs> it, it was so ridiculous yeah especially I don't know why I would even date a non-catholic person to begin with like, I, I, I wouldn't even date somebody who's in a different religion than I am. It just doesn't work out that way. Oh, uh, plus, uh, I'm about to make a visit to uh, a lady friend of mine. Uh, she just got out of a relationship, but it didn't work out. But I was going to explain to her that, well, the reason why I stopped uh, going to her shows is because, uh, you know, when she introduced me to that so-called boyfriend she had, uh, he, he didn't even freaking shake his... You know my hand and say hi where and like he was just kind of rude like come on so that's why i left out of uh, lock and loaded and haven't came back to haven't seen bob or anything because you know i thought they guys ain't rude but i'm pretty sure uh well this this one will figure it out anyway if the relationship wasn't working well then a week later she moved in his house which i thought that was crazy like you haven't been with this person for a long time you're gonna move it in his house well, plus, this woman, she works uh, night shift, kind of, and sometimes get out around midnight, but this guy works during the day, so essentially you work a different schedule and live together, it will never work out, which it didn't work out, that's why they're not together. But I just going to explain to her what, what's what been going on, because, you know, I was head over heels over her until that happened, and that, you know, I just found out, okay, she's not the right, she's not the person for me. But when she realized that the relationship wasn't working out, then, yeah, okay, maybe I'll be friends with her. It's just that it was affecting, you know, everything because she was like a complete different person because she used to be hanging out a lock loaded after getting off at one of her shows. I'm not allowed to say. That's why I said one of her shows. But with her, her not going to lock loaded like usual and hanging out with her friends, I'm thinking, well, that guy she's living with, Got her on lockdown or curfew or something where she's not even allowed to hang out with her home friends, which I thought that was weird. I hung out with her friends on New Year's Eve. I like a little we were talking about that. And then there was another friend that I bumped into Saturday night. And she said that she thought that guy was a douchebag too. Yeah, especially making her kids uncomfortable. So, why would you date somebody who makes your kids uncomfortable? Fuck that. I mean, I know I wouldn't if I had kids of my own. Yeah. So, this will be all. Uh, just uh, stay tuned for the uh, next exciting episode of Missionary Schwann Entertainment. Oh, and I was going to say, uh, there was something wrong with the Cary Town Center. A uh, mall in Cary. It looks like it's about to be in the dead list, so... Uh, 
I think uh, I mean Storm Maverick will probably make a video of that sometime. Well, next week, sometime next weekend, anyway. So you just stay tuned for that. I can do this weekend because I got a lot of stuff going on, but I can make different vlogs in the meantime. So we'll see you then. Later.